Starting with the sharp, cobbled climbs of the Tour of Flanders and ending with the ruthless pavé of Paris-Roubaix, there's nothing quite like cycling's Holy Week. Two attritional races bookending seven days spent in a cauldron of media and fan attention. For Bora Hansgrohe, combating all that the week throws at them has never been so important. And InCycle spent that week with them. Yeah, in the end, it's Flanders. You already know before then you are going to feel tired after the race, yeah. It's my 11th year as a pro and I feel pressure, but it's not pressure, it's more emotion. but I don't think they are going to get anywhere near the winner. With Sagan not even making the top ten, he wasn't quite on his best day. When you cross finish line, then it's finish. You're just enjoying a moment with the, the teammates, you know, and uh, after that you just go sleep and it's OK. By the time the Bora Hansgrohe riders set out on their morning after training ride, all memory of the Tour of Flanders the day before had been put behind them. For the medical team supporting them throughout the Holy Week, attention had already shifted to the all-important recovery in time for Paris-Roubaix. In just seven days, uh, two of the most important races in the whole calendar of the year. There's a long preparation leading to these two races. Um, they are both on cobbles, but they are both special. The three main problems we have in the classics are crashes, what happen quite often. Um, we have a lot of mental stress in these races. Um, then we have uh, the special um, inflammatory process we have by the cobbles on the muscle tissue. With the weather taking a turn for the worse, it was time for the riders to head back from their training ride and take the first steps in their recovery from the race the previous day. It's more about the, the ABC before doing uh, the fancy things um, to stay healthy. That means if it's, if it's cold, yeah, that they go straight after the training to, sh to shower, to have some warm clothes on. If you go for 50 k's on cobbles, there is always an impact from the cobbles to your body. You have to control the bike, that's why it's leading to um, a lot of tension in the, in the body. Um, and then we have the impact from the ground and there's a lot of stress on the muscle tissue. Amy is one of our partners for all the physio machines we use in our treatment with the athlete. By the modular system, we have the option to um, do a therapy related to the problems we have at the moment. So we can choose from up to four different therapies within just one device. While none of the riders suffered a crash during the Tour of Flanders, falls in previous weeks meant there was still some injury management needed for the team. Jura had a training crash a few days ago. Well, luckily, nothing, nothing bad happened here. Some abrasions uh, on his hip. We continue with the bone care through this week um, to, to have him ready for Roubaix. Yesterday it was quite good. He was not suffering extra um, by, the, by the crash. Not all side effects of crashes are visible and that's why Bora Hansgrohe are working to develop a system to better recognize symptoms of concussion. Two years ago, we started to work with iTrex, trying to build up a system which is uh, virtual reality based. Um, you have high-speed cameras checking your eye movements in a simulation program. By checking these results with a baseline we did already in the winter and we do before the races, we compare your 
eye movements and your cognitive um, relation with your eyes um, to a baseline to have a more valid and um, more repro reproducible um, diagnosis too. Well, you feel it more when you go for recon. When you are in the race, you have pain everywhere, then you don't think about it, you know. I feel like in, in the washing machine, everything around and even the head, I feel like I mean, my brain shaking in, in the head. After 100K, we arrive at the first sector and you have to be at a really good position, but just to avoid crashes and avoid problems. And then Arenberg is really a circle red point. <laughs> Day after or one week after, you still have uh, swollen fingers and uh, you know, uh, it's hard to grab something. Just uh, much more people around and for the races it's amazing how big crowd of the person or people uh, watching and cheering for us during the, the race. That is something special you can feel that is a different race than just, you know, uh, and other ones what we did before. I like to spend uh, time just relaxing or to stay with friends and speak and watch some movies. Now uh, I'm trying to solve Rubik's uh, Cube, you know? <laughs> yeah. Just kind, kind of fun like that. Sure, mentally it's important to switch it off for a few hours or maybe two days and yeah that's the way to to, to get to, to find again the mentality to fight. This week, the Holy Week is a little bit different because it's not a race every day. So they have two days that are pretty easy before the race and they have enough time to fill up the energy stores. We try to serve a lot of anti-inflammatory uh, foods because of the cobbles and the long distance and the lots of accelerations and stress for your muscles also and the tissue. Uh, the newest thing is chai tea. They, it also contains ginger and some spices and they mix it up and drink it for almost every meal after the races. The non-alcoholic beer is high in nutrients. It has some minerals that can really help with recovery. If they drink one or two alcohol-free beers for dinner, it just adds to the fluids they really need after such a hard day. Normally, the, the races are not as hard in the beginning, at least not for our leaders. So we start with a kind of slow-released carbohydrate drink. They have rice cakes, bars, but uh, in the end, it's less solid food, more liquid food. You have to make a plan in your head. You, you can't be stressed all six hours and a half. I have nothing to lose, you know. I already won it and uh, I try again. Uh, for sure I'm not stressed. I like to, to split all the races in different parts that here maybe I can relax a bit more, here it's better to be more focused, here maybe I take a rest 
breathe and to eat something, drink something and to be calm. It's uh, more pain in your legs and, uh, and fatigue what you did already after 200 kilometers. If you have energy, then you can fly over the cobblestones. If you don't, then uh, it's pretty hard to go on the cobblestone. In the end, it was not not for us. There were two guys from Quick Step, so Peter had no chance because they attacked him all the time. I was on uh, on the last sector to give bottles, and he didn't even have time because he had to follow a Quick Step guy. So I think he did the best he could. <laughs>